the main thing I'm working on now is helping women, high level women who hit a glass ceiling. They finally have a seat at the table, but they still aren't being listened to. Yeah. And it's not just the fault of say the men who aren't listening, that's too easy. It's a combination of the way women talk and the way men talk and also the way women sabotage themselves and also a business culture that really is built about the way, the masculine way of thinking. I ran an opera company because I wanted to run, I, I kept applying for a general director job. I wanted to run an existing opera company. I didn't really want to have to make one myself. I wanted to run an existing one. Oh. And for about five years, three or four times a year, I would be on the short list and they would fly me in for the interview, but they would hire a man who was often not as qualified as I was. I didn't know then what I know now. I mean, if I'd had a coach like me, <laughs> then I would probably, I would probably still be running an opera. I would be running an opera company at this point, and mm -hmm. I would also be broke because of the pandemic shutting everything down. But I found that um, I didn't understand how to talk to the people who were making the decisions. Mm -hmm. I didn't learn that until later. Yeah. So I'm. It's using all that I learned, including the old bruises from the glass ceilings that I hit, to uh, to really help people step forward and uh, and and claim their spot in a way that everyone can hear it.